This is Ready and Thriving's fried rice made from the things you have in your refrigerator and house right now. So I always like to start with what leftovers do I have? And in this case, I started out that I had a roast ham and I prepared it in advance by putting cubed ham into a jar. And I keep that, I call it a make ahead because now it's just ready to use. So I also pull out the other staples that I keep in my house, like frozen vegetables, because you can throw those into a variety of things. Also, um, I've got some water chestnuts and um, garlic already ready to go. Of course, you'll need rice for this as well that you either make up or hopefully maybe you even have left over. And then all of your various flavorings. Really important to have something that's umami, like fish sauce, and salty like soy sauce and sweeter things like wine to steam the vegetables. Now get your walk on really quick because we want it to get fully hot on high before we start the rest. All of the items really close to the wok because you will use them. And I like to put them in order. So first the oil and that's what we'll put the spices and the garlic in. Then we'll have the fish sauce in together with the meat as it cooks. And you can also add eggs at that time. And then you'll add in your vegetables. That's when you add in the sherry or the Chinese wine. That helps it, the vegetables to steam really nicely and also take on that wonderful flavor. Next thing to add is the rice. And on top of that rice, that's where you'll put the soy sauce. And what that does is also creates that wonderful color um, as it cooks through. Definitely as you go through now, start to taste and make sure that you've got the balance right. If it needs a little bit more umami or acid, add that extra fish sauce. If it needs a little bit more sweetness, just add a little bit more of the sherry. So now we're getting to just finishing it off. Then you want to add things like sesame seeds, um, which don't need long time to roast, just enough to bring them back to life. And then at the very last moment, after you've turned off the heat, put the sesame oil on and enjoy tasty hot fried rice. For the full recipe, go to readyandthriving.com and get the full instructions. You'll also find other recipes that you can make from leftovers and things you have in the fridge.